Okay, hello everyone and welcome to Bloodborne. Didn't expect this, did you? Um, yes, I do have a PlayStation 4. I got one actually about last week. Uh, basically how I managed to get one is I sold some things, some musical in instruments that I didn't use anymore. So I got the money, uh, thanks to the donations you sent. I got the PS4 Plus subscription so I can play online. And of course, I got the game. Now this is probably gonna go up a little bit later than everyone else's playthrough because I ran into some trouble in the morning which basically was that I needed an HD capture card. Okay, this is good. Uh, something I didn't have. So I had to go out and buy one of those as well. And yeah, this is all good. Should be going up. Um, like I said, maybe a little bit later than everyone else's, but if you do decide to stick with me, I promise you an entertaining playthrough. Dark Souls 2, my first playthrough, was pretty funny. Turned out good. So yeah, this all should be fine. Let's just get to the game. I'm gonna stop talking. Oh, yeah. Yarnum is the home of blood illustration. You need only unravel its mystery. But there's an outsider like yourself to begin. Easy, with a bit of Yarnum blood of your own. But first, you need a contract. Does that guy not have eyes? Kind of like the Maiden in Black. Alright. Name. What do you want to name our first character? Uh, let's go with um, something. Oops, something gothic sounding. I'm gonna talk about the game in a little bit. Just wanna get through. We're gonna play male, mature. Ah, uh, we'll play young. Why not? Origin. This is interesting. Uh, this game doesn't have classes, not anymore. What you can actually select instead is your backstory, kind of. So we have Milka Toast, Ordinary Happy up Upbringing, All Attributes Average, Lone Survivor, High Life Essence and Vigor, Troubled Childhood, Highly Resilient, Violent Past. You get it, all of these are different. I don't really know what to play with. Um, Troubled childhood. I don't know, that kind of sounds interesting. Gonna edit my appearance. Oh, no, we don't want to change that. Good. Oh. We have voice. God, this guy sounds like a kid. They all sound the same, though. Okay, build. Standard, slim, burly. Small head, of course. Classic Dark Souls. I'm gonna go with slim. Slim is usually... I think I go with scale adjustment skin. Holy shit, there's a lot of options. Character creation looks good. At least better than the other games. Better than... The, whoa, holy shit, that guy's white. He's whiter than me. Alright, let's go for like something normal looking. Okay, this is just more adjustment. Face details. Hmm, tattoos. Can get like a little scar here. We did have a troubled childhood, so why not? Glasses. John Lennon? Do we want to go with the John Lennon glasses? Holy shit, this is steampunk. Alright. Monocle. You know, I think that's a little bit too much, having glasses and uh, scars. Facial hair. Holy shit, there's a lot of options. From software, I'm, I'm impressed. Look at that mutton chop. I like to spend a little bit of time here. Hair color. Oh wait, we need... Oh, hair. Holy shit. That is some receding... Wow, well, business at the front, party in the back, right? That's basically shaved. Where do these people get hair gel? That's my question. Whoa. Oh, this is a little bit emo. We did have a troubled childhood though. So, wow. Well, Justin Bieber hair. Oh, whoa, that is... 
That is some hairdo. All of these are pretty cool. Um, is this a female hairstyle? Is that why it looks weird? We're gonna go with... Yeah, why not? Since we did have a troubled childhood, you might as well go for the full emo look. Don't want like black hair. What is this like? This is making red. Fucking... Okay, like light brown-ish. Yeah, this is good. Don't want to waste too many... Um, um, what you call it? Too much time doing this. Oh, did I just... Fuck. Did I just... Alright, so yes, like an idiot, I did press on default by accident. Oh well, we're happy with this. Let's go. Yes, we're gonna finalize our contract. Already had fail number one. Interesting. And we're not even in the game. So this should be good. Game's been getting good reviews, by the way. Great reviews, in fact. This is like probably the first game where I would say it is worth to shell out for a PS4. There are a couple of more coming along. That Final Fantasy game looks pretty good. As well as the other Final Fantasy game that's coming out. Metal Gear Solid. I'm gonna shut up. Found yourself a hunter. Iosefka's Clinic. So yeah, as you probably noticed, this game has a lot more of a horror atmosphere than Demon than Dark Souls and Demon Souls. And you know what? That is something I am fully behind. Uh, these games always kind of had like a horror theme. Well, not really Dark Souls 2, but Dark Souls 1 and Demon Souls for sure. Handwritten scroll, seek playbot to transcend the hunt. Sounds good, whatever that means. So yeah, these games always had uh, kind of like a horror atmosphere. And the fact that they're going all out with this game, like I said, I can get perfectly behind that. It should be awesome. So basically, controls appear to be about the same. We have a backstab, classic, we have rolls. If we lock onto something, which I can't do, my roll will change to kind of like a sidestep. But yeah, let's go. I also like the updated, um, I guess, time period. Because we are more of like a Victorian period. And again, that is something I'm fully behind. I like that they stayed away or strayed away from the medieval stuff. These guys are the notes of this game, these little ghost things. We have two hand, attack, a straight up karate chop. Alright, what about two handed? Oops, we have nothing all right okay what else do we have lock on of course 
Enemies? Of course we have enemies. Oh no, that's someone else. Oh, there's gonna be someone here. Holy shit. Let's go and sneak around this guy, shall we? I almost feel like there's a reward behind him. Oh, he's facing this way. Is he? Let's see if we can... Be sneaky. I don't know why I'm talking quietly. It's not like it's gonna help. This console isn't that advanced. They can detect your voice. Let's just... Oh, shit. This is bad. Let's get the hell out of here. Alright, let's run. I'm assuming run is the same. Yes, it is. Alright, we're getting the hell out of here. Hey there. Oh, shit. Item. Quicksilver bullets. Thank you. Ouch. Not gonna be able to kill this thing, am I? No, am I locked in? Yes. Yes, I am. Why do I have a feeling this is the intended death of the game? No, I don't want to die. I already had a troubled childhood. Don't torture me like that. Okay, we have lock on. Oh, this guy is halfway dead. Is he like the first, like, asylum demon of this game? We can defeat and I'm dead. I'm gonna have to decrease the volume because this game is loud. Classic. We died. Thank you, Bloodborne. I'm assuming you can defeat this guy. Um, if you're skilled. That's what they usually do with these games. Um, maybe it leads to like a, re a reward or something. We already got the bullets. At least we didn't die in the first room. And this is the Hunter's Dream. Which... Is, I'm guessing kind of like the hub area of this game. So, yeah. Looks good. Kind of ominous. Hunter's Dream. Here we go. Are those fucking arch trees? No, they wouldn't tease us like that, would they? Oh god, everyone's gonna be speculating whether these games are related again. Because they did the same thing with Demon's Souls and Dark Souls. They kind of like put hints, but more of like references. And everyone's like speculating whether the two games are connected or not. A short ritual root choice is required to conduct a ritual. Oh, this leads to the dungeon, doesn't it? Awaken at select location in Yama. Alright. Oh, this leads back to... Alright. Kind of like the Nexus, I'm guessing, this place is. Trading blood echoes with messengers to buy and sell items. We have nothing, so... I'm just gonna go. An abandoned doll. Wonderful. Oh, this is once again um, a warp point. Messengers offers you a trick weapon. Choose one. Trick weapons are wielded with the right hand and employed in beast hunting. Saw cleaver, hunter axe, and threaded cane. Can we look at the description? One of the trip weapons of the workshop commonly used in hunting business, blah blah. This is the classic one. Everyone knows what this is. We also have an axe. Hmm. Serves as a whip. I'm getting the cane. You know why? Because this is the only weapon that wasn't shown in the demos. Alright, let's see if we can equip this thing. Oh, firearm. Nice. We have a blunderbuss or a pistol. Hell yeah, we're going for the blunderbuss. Hunter firearms are specifically specifically crafted to employ quicksilver bullets fused with the wielder's own blood boosting damage against beasts. The impact of this highly effective weapon counters beasts' swift movements and its widespread is nigh on guaranteed to hit. This is basically a shotgun, which I love shotguns, so of course we're getting that. A notebook received by messengers. Leave messages... Alright, so we basically got the orange soapstone. And the only thing I gotta figure out is how the hell... Yes, there we go. Uh, wait a second. No, this is not what we want. Personal effects. Can I? Hmm. Oh, there we go. Hunter's Mark. Notebook. Oh, this is for like miscellaneous items. 
gotta figure out how to put my shit on. Alright, this isn't it. It's a karate chop. Use item, toggle items. Alright, we have nothing. Oh shit, I just used something. Which, oh, I took my HP and it increased something. Oh, this is, okay, good. Gestures, personal effects. What gestures do we have? Classic point. Hunter salutation. Oops. Do we have some silly gesture? Okay. Sit down. Wow, you can sit down. Does it stay like that? Oh, cool. It actually stays like that. That is pretty awesome. Alright. Transform weapon. Alright, good. Strong attack. How do you equip your weapons, though? That's what I'm asking. Oh god, the same thing happened in Dark Souls 1, didn't it? I couldn't figure out how to put shit on. Oh, I just did that again. Let's roll. Let's see, we have no... Hmm. I'll figure it out in a second. Gestures. Oh, yeah. Someone's dead. Maybe I can just get out of here. Okay, maybe not. Alright, let's go. Guess we're gonna go this way and explore. Or we can use that warp stone, can't we? Or warp point. Yeah, this is still closed. It leads to the same place, I guess. Alright, yeah, let's go. First floor sick room. I guess we're gonna go back to where we were. I'm gonna figure out how to equip my shit. Because, of course, this thing doesn't have a start button. Unlike old PlayStations, unless it's options. But I don't think it is. Should have checked the controls before starting. Well, I did read every hint, didn't I? And I wasn't enlightened, so to say. This is one thing I've heard about the game, that the load times are still pretty annoying. Yeah, attack with right-handed, backstab, options. Oh, that is... okay, good. Inventory. We have arms, threaded cane. Is it equipped? Yes, it is. Right-hand weapon. Okay, there we go. And do I have my... Hmm, where is my... Oh, the bullets are just there, automatically. Let's try this thing. Alright, this is, seems like more like a dex weapon. Alright, and let's see with the transformation. Nice, it is a whip. Cool. Oh, dude. oh that's so awesome how he transforms it back. That is fucking awesome. Alright, you bitch. Eat a shotgun that completely missed because it's a shotgun. Alright. It's R2 that failed. There, there's the HP regen. And I'm dead. Alright, gotta get used to this because... I'm used to rolling, that's the problem. Um, so I gotta get used to the backstep. Because honestly, I've never really used the backstep thing in Dark Souls 2 or Dark Souls. I used it in Dark Souls 2 PvP, but it's gonna be a little bit of time until I adjust to... Maybe it's better to stay unlocked for now, so that I can actually roll. Which maybe, yeah, that that's gonna be good. I'll try that. This thing doesn't have a lot of HP. I managed to almost kill it. Luckily, I didn't have any souls. Or, I think it's blood tinge in this game? Or is that a stat? It's one of those things. Alright. <laughs> Let's try that again. And some waste of blunderbuss bullet. Do you have jumping attacks in this game? 
Of course you do. And I completely missed with them. Alright, you bastard. I can stun lock it though, so. God damn, get my HP back. Nice. Blood echoes retrieved. Oh, because you have to kill the enemy now to. Blood vial, that's health, isn't it? Okay, it's good, because if you see on the right hand corner or left hand corner, it's just like there. So you don't actually have to equip them like you do Estus and things like that. Oh, I missed this. More blood vials. And I guess you could have gone this way. Oh no, this is a dead end. This is not like... Alright. Looks like you can't break. Oh, hey there. Oh, I thought that was a person. Did you see? That does look like a person, doesn't it? Like he's sitting there with his hat. Alright, I'm an idiot. Gotta figure out how to get out of here, because both of these were locked, weren't they? Closed by a device. I'm assuming that device is in here somewhere. Unless, we'll try the other door as well. Sorry, coffin. Yeah, this is openable. So I could have escaped this way, maybe, from the beast. Or maybe not. Whatever. Central Yarnan. Yarnam? Yarnam, I guess. Alright, here we go. Welcome to Bloodborne, I guess. We have more blood vials. They're really giving this to us, aren't they? Yeah, this is what I'm more familiar with. That is a locked-ass coffin. They don't want whatever that is to get out. Right, I'm gonna go whip here, because whips are awesome. Um, Madman waits ahead. Alright. We all know this. I mean, if you saw the demo for this game, you know what's coming up. Good, I'm liking the range on this. Maybe whips will finally be functional in this game. Because if you play the previous ones, like Demon Soul, Demon Souls didn't even have whips. But in Dark Souls they were bad. In Dark Souls 2 they were a little bit better, but still pretty much useless. So I'm hoping that here we finally get to... Um, oh, did I just use health? Yes, I did. That's like the special attack, isn't it? Oh, nice, you can dodge forward as well. It's gonna be good to know. Just wasted a blood while, but whatever. So we can break this. Molotov cocktail, nice. Gonna have to probably equip that. Let's see, quick items, Molotov cocktails. I'll equip it. It's a firebomb, basically. You know, firebombs can be useful early on. What's a switch here? Which, if I remember correctly, should lead to the ladder. Yes. I'm gonna assume you can't open this. Yeah, closed by a device. And this is just a door, not an openable one. Can you quick climb? Uh, you kind of can. I don't know if just, that's just his normal speed. Do not like the sound of that. Look at this game, this looks awesome. Loving the sky. These games always have good sky boxes. Alright. Who do we have here? Nice. What is this? Light lamp. The lamp now transports you back to the hunter's dream. Upon death, you will awaken at... Alright. Sounds good. So, this is basically a bonfire. Except they modernized it. It's now a lamp. Okay. Not many places we can go. Do I want to go back to the Hunter's Dream? I don't know what I can do there. Alright. I'm just gonna head down. Of course, the first few episodes are gonna be longer. Pebble, nice. I know what this is. Alright, gonna equip. Yeah, alright, I'm already feeling more familiar with the control system. Hey there! Wow, you're mad. I haven't used the blunderbuss yet. Which is... Slightly disappointing. Don't want to go this way. Or I can just drop down. Hmm, maybe that wasn't the best idea. Or maybe I can backstab this fucker. Yeah, if you want to... Wow, this game. <laughs> Liking the blood. 
So yeah, in order to backstab someone, you need to do that special strong attack and then backstab. Because you can't just backstab normally, which... Well, I am outside. Alright. I'm still gonna knock. What else can we do? Switch action? Oh, we can just read the message. So apparently, we're not welcome. That is slightly disappointing because... Hmm. Let's see if this works. Yeah, it does. Eat a blunderbuss. Of course, guns don't do a lot of damage. But they are good for knocking enemies around, which I guess we don't need to do with these... Oh, there they are. We all remember the uh, demo, don't we? We saw footage of that when these guys approach. I'm pretty sure back then you could go back up here, couldn't you? So I probably want to wait for these guys to pass. Well, there's not that many of them. Did they see me? Oh. Yes, they saw me. Do we have... Yeah, we do have rolling attacks, kind of. Or... I guess this is like a dashing attack. There's not that many of them. I could... At this point, I could probably take them on. Let's use a Molotov Cocktail. Wow, that is disappointing. This guy has a shield, though. So maybe that's why. Maybe I can use... Okay, there's no way to counter that. But yeah, this system with the charge attack should make backstabs a little bit more rare in PvP. Because, let's be honest... Sometimes PvP in Dark Souls 1 and 2 could devolve into basically a backstab fishing match a lot of the times. I'm gonna need to use the Altern, the Whip mode a little bit more because that seems interesting. Oh, this leads back up, doesn't it? Okay, so the third attack comes out a little slower. But this, I'm liking this mode. More blood vials. Alright. Hopefully this is going to lead back to the same place. It looks like it would. Oh no, it doesn't. It. No, yes it does. Oh, so that was the... Oh, I get it. Nice. So this is where I came from. This is where the lamp is. Alright, it all makes sense. So basically only that NPC was down there. It seems like it. Alright, we're going to make our way back. I guess we're going to go this way. Why not? Nothing. That's not an alley. Although it looked like one. Oh, and here we are. I see how it all relates. Hopefully, because this game is... Um, essentially concentrated into this city. So the entire game take pla takes place here. So hopefully what that's going to mean is there's going to be a lot more like shortcuts. Like they had in Dark Souls. Which they kind of missed out on in Dark Souls 2. There weren't that many, like, cool moments where you're like, Oh, so that's how these two areas relate. Giant beast. Uh-oh. Am I brave or am I brave? I am brave and stupid. Okay, let's go unlocked. Okay, this guy has a lot of HP. That's what we need to parry. That headbutt, though. Oh, shit. You're... Thank you. I'll get my HP back. Spin to win. I guess that's still around in this game. But fuck, how do you heal? Oh, it's... Triangle, isn't it? Did I heal or did I not manage to get it off? That's how you heal. Come on, you asshole. Okay, this option seems better. I'm gonna try maybe backstabbing him. Oh, shit. Just short. I still need to get the range of this thing. Oh, he has a grab, doesn't he? Does that only work if you're behind him, maybe? Okay, I think I'm doing... I'm doing well. Only thing I gotta watch out for is 
probably one hit from this guy will kill me. So I'm going to heal again. Whoa, there we go. Spin to win. There we go. This guy likes his spin to win, doesn't he? But he's dead. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Heavy blood gemstone. Thanks for the trophy. So, what was I going to say? I think this guy was more difficult in the alpha. I remember, like, people struggled with this guy. I guess they nerfed him. Uh, there's nothing here. Alright, good. Well, that's one giant beastie down. Not even a boss, so... Still. Ragdoll physics? Yes, they are here. Thank you, FromSoft. That's what I wanted. That's all I wanted. Alright. What else should I... There is a sneaky... Oh, that's not an alley. Why do I think everything is an alley when it's not? Hmm. Why do I smell an ambush? See? I knew this tricky bastard. Quicksilver bullets. I'm full on ammo, aren't I? I haven't used this many times yet. I knew it. That is way too convenient, that item. Whoa, shit, I wasn't locked on. Why am I even wasting bullets on these guys? Bloodstone Shard. I'm guessing all of these are going to be important. Of course they are. Alright, no, let's check our inventory. What do we have? Embedding weapon to fortify. Nice. The cane, the blunderbuss. Only these clothes. Heavy blood gemstone. What does this do? A blood gem that fortifies weapons and adds various properties. Blood gems are especially rare bloodstones that grow on cold blood. Blood gems are kneaded into weapons using workshop tools, but only when ma of matching shape. Interesting. Alright. Sounds good. How long have I been going? Whoa! Shit! Hey there! I'm gonna whip you to death. This thing does a lot of damage. What's the charge attack look like on this? I guess it doesn't have one, does it? Only when it's in solid mode. Alright. These guys are having a nice little ritual down there, aren't they? Is this? That is a water pump. Can we activate it? That would be so good. Beware of mob. Yeah, I can guess that. Oh, hey there. Oh, you're all just attacking. Nice. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. Not all, all of you, but some of you are. Damn. God damn, this is awesome. These guys are easy as hell, but damn, the combat system seems good. I'm out of stamina. No problem. I think I can get behind this backstep thing. Backstep thing. Kind of f almost feel like Chester from Dark Souls 1. I'm still gonna shoot this guy in the back. No, almost. Bam. Take that. Come on. Oh, he's dead. Well, alright. I think this is as good a place as end, uh, to end as any. Um, welcome to Bloodborne, I guess. Seems awesome. I'm having a blast so far. Um, just to let you know how this is gonna go, uh, just like with Dark Souls 2 when I did that playthrough, I'm basically gonna be uploading two episodes per day. And for now, my other games, which include Binding of Isaac and um, GTA, are probably gonna be on hold or coming a bit rarer because... This is going to be my life for the next couple of months, this game. I know, I'm a sad individual. Anyways, I'm going to end it here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed part one of Bloodborne. This is going to be weird to say. going to have to get used to it. Hope you enjoyed part one of Bloodborne. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.